Hey guys, just giving you a St. Clair River ice update. Over the last couple days, we've started to get really good ice flows coming down the St. Clair River. Obviously the cold temperatures up in Lake Huron and around the region have caused a lot of ice to form and it's flowing pretty good over the last few days. You can see that the ice has started to freeze in between the docks, but the ice flows coming out of the lake continue to move pretty well. So in general, the ice isn't going to hurt anything as long as it's flowing from lake to river to lake. The problem is, is when it gets jammed up, it can cause flooding and cause a lot of damage to docks and buildings along the lake and along the river. So these are the icebreakers, basically the, the pilings in, in front of everybody's docks. Without them, the ice piles up on your dock and starts to destroy it. These are sacrificial uh, pilings that really protect your dock and make sure that the ice stays away from it. So we had one ship go through this morning and that really got the ice flowing again. Without the ships going through, it's eventually going to start piling up and then it'll start freezing. In general, the St. Clair River doesn't freeze until we get ice backed up all the way across and then cold weather and wind will cause it to freeze. I've only seen the St. Clair River jam up about three times. Uh, one of those times was last year. We had significant ice flows. We had a, a south wind coming out of Lake Huron that was really pushing a lot of ice down and uh, we didn't get it cut up fast enough and it caused a lot of flooding and some damage south of St. Clair. Another condition that really impacts the amount of ice that we have flowing down the St. Clair River is the direction of the wind. If we get a south wind, it keeps the ice up in the lake and the ice then freezes and gets thicker. Right now, the ice is pretty thin. Again, we're early in the season. We're approaching the time of the year where the freighters are gonna stop running for probably four to six weeks. They're gonna close the Sioux locks and we'll only have local freighters, basically some tankers that are gonna stop in Sarnia, load up on chemicals, petrochemicals, and so on. None of the big iron ore or coal haulers will be running because the Sioux locks will be closed until they leave. Some great spots to come up and see the ice, Port Huron, Marysville, St. Clair, Marine City, Algonac. They all have great parks, parking lots, boardwalks, river walks, where you can check out the ice. There's a really big flow that hasn't been busted up yet. Again, it's cold enough today that it'll continue to freeze. The movement kind of keeps it broken up. Hey, perfect timing. We've got a local freighter coming by here. You can kind of hear the action of the freighter pushing some waves already near my dock here, and it's cracking the ice that's been frozen. So this is the George Carrick. Again, it's a tanker. Probably stopped at Sarnia, probably headed to Hamilton, somewhere else in Canada. By having the freighters going back and forth, it allows us to keep the ice flowing and keeps things safe. Sounds like he hit a good patch there. You can hear it breaking up on the front of the ship. Everything's moving and creaking now. Thanks for joining me for this St. Clair River Ice update. Have a great day.